Welcome back at Transgroom TV. We are preparing a Brussels griffon with a rolling coat and this is part four. There is now three weeks between the last grooming and we are now seven weeks after the first grooming. Now we have, as you can see on this diagram, we have already two layers of hair since the first grooming. Fretch's hair is nice and shiny and since the first time we've groomed Fretch, we have now two different layers in the coat. So the third layer is about to break through in a week and it's already much nicer. His hair is now thick and not so long and thin and it's shiny and it's very ready to have the next layer coming out, so the rolling coat is nearly there. Here you see me using the extra large Showtech stripper to do the carding and I'm taking out as much wool as possible and after I finished I also tried the Ultra Pro Fine to do the rest of the carbon because the Ultra Pro is very fine, the teeth are very fine to next to each other and if I can get some more wool out with the Ultra Pro I will. I'm going to keep on carding until no more wool is coming out of the coat anymore. The slowest hair to break through is from the legs. The hair on the legs needs to be a bit longer, otherwise you'll have like a big body and like four thin legs, so we need coat on the legs, but it takes such a long time for the coat to break through, already four weeks, and by the time the hair on the legs will be longer, we'll be, we will be maybe six months further. So. Now I would prefer to take all the hair out of the legs but I can't because this way is not the correct way of doing the rolling coat. So here again we only have to take about 20% out of the legs. Here you see me using the Ultra Pro stripping knife, extra fine. And now the hair is nice and thick and short and it's absolutely no problem to use this knife. It's a knife who is 100% taking out, uh, pulling out the hairs and not uh, breaking the hairs. And here I'm switching over to the solid stripper because with the fine hairs on the legs which are long and fine it's easier to grab them with a solid stripper because the solid stripper is comparable to a stripping stone. As you can see here on the back it's nice and shiny I'm really very satisfied with the quality of the hair now. Here you see me using the Heinegger mini clipper to shave around the anus and this is a very good clipper. It hasn't it doesn't vibrate very much and it's just light and it's short, just short enough to clip around like small areas like the anus and between the pads and it's a very good clipper to use. Here again you see me using the solid stripper and I am come, keep coming back to the legs and to the feet because it's sensitive, especially when you move down towards the toes. So I'm trying not to do too much at the same time, not to make it too uncomfortable for the dog. And when he is telling me it's time to stop, I'm just moving to another area and maybe I will come back to the toes a bit later. And here you see me using the system again of lifting the hair with the solid stripper on the tail. And I'm nice lifting all the coat with the brush, with my fingers. And each time I see where I have to strip the next hair out, I'm stripping it out with the solid stripper. It's amazing how fast the hair is growing now. It's only three weeks ago and it was nice and short at the tail and look three weeks after this how long and how fluffy the tail already is. Fretcher is taking a relaxing time, <laughs> he's lying down. Here I'm doing the neck and I'm very happy to say that there's no, absolutely no more see-through anymore, you don't see the skin anymore 
and it's all nice and covered all you see all the muscles and you see the the line of the dog so i'm very happy with the result i think for fletcher it's enough to come every three weeks and every three weeks to do the same thing and fletcher will never again have to have a long coat or a short coat if he can be done every three weeks i think it's more than enough to have a good rolling coat and here I'm showing that I'm using the point of the Ultra Pro extra fine stripping knife and I'm using the, the, this stripping knife as a pin set and I'm using the point of the stripping knife with my thumb. So it's like a pin set. I'm looking very carefully which hairs I, I want to strip and I'm only taking the hairs necessary to take off with my pin set. Also between the eyes, as you can see I'm only using the tip of the stripping knife and I'm only taking a few hairs at the time. And here you see me putting on the finger condoms to again, if it's only a little bit, but we need to also the moustache, the beard, the cheeks, we need to take out a little bit so it grows back in different layers thick and it's not all one length. I'm still struggling with the hair on the legs because now I would really like to take it all out but I'm not going to. I'm gonna take a, a little part out and so I have different layers coming in next time and in a month and in two months. So I wish I could take everything out but I'm not going to. So it looks a bit too fluffy now and you know it looks like you want to take it out but I'm going to keep myself and not pull everything out. So although Fletcher doesn't like it very much but also the bottom of the feet, the toes, everything needs to be stripped. Uh oh, going back to the face. Also the tummy. Also there I would like to take out everything but I'm not going to just leave a bit to create the layers. So here you see me shaving Fletcher's genitals. I'm using the Amigo on the longest stand and it's special for sensitive areas not to have any irritations. I'm just making the feet round again. Again once more I'm combing the beard and you can see here how shiny Fretchen is. This was Kitty for Transgroom TV and we've just looked at part four of creating a rolling coat on a Brussels Griffon. Now we can see some pictures, the before and after pictures of Fretchen. You can see every time Fletcher comes in, the coat getting thicker. If you like the videos, there's a little thumb over there, just below. You can click on it and that means you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time for part five of preparing a Brussels Griffon for a rolling coat.